Good morning. Happy Monday. Thank you for watching this video. I like to call, Where Do I Begin? Do I begin with the sad statement I read from Lewis Hamilton? I paraphrase stating that he believes his chances for the title chase of 2022 are over. Do I begin by addressing the way he must have felt when Bono went on the radio and said, Lewis, you must obey blue flags and then you're being passed by Max Verstappen. Do I begin with Toto Wolf going on the radio, apologizing to Lewis for the car? Is that a sign of dishonest? Is that a sign that the relationship between Toto and Lewis is on shaky ground? Was that just a performance for the cameras or the audio if you were listening to the, the statement? Do I begin with Nico Rosberg's multiple statements on Lewis's chin about how he underperformed his teammate and pretty much had from the beginning of the season? Or should I feel worse about Paul Dressler's statement about how despite the team having forgotten to adjust Russell's front wing, how he underperformed, how he outperformed Lewis Hamilton over and over again? Or should I talk about the DRS that the FIA failed to activate on time? I personally tweeted four times directly to the FIA about why there was a delay in activating the DRS. Well, to my knowledge, they haven't responded. I'm a small fish in the pond, and I doubt they'll ever respond. But I think that could have changed the race. That's just an opinion. I'm saddened to think about the following statement. Is this possibly the end of an era? Not for Mercedes, because honest to God, I don't really care. But is it for Sir Lewis Hamilton's career? I have to say this. Guys, remember, at the beginning of the season, Sir Lewis Hamilton made a statement as follows. And I paraphrase. If you believe what you've seen towards the end of last year's season 2021 was something, then wait till you see what I have for you this year. He came into this season with high hopes that he's going to pretty much start where he left off. It's been the opposite. Yes, it is very early, but as a fan, a real fan of the sport, and certainly a dedicated fan of Sir Lewis Hamilton, this weekend was just, I, I can't describe it. Just, uh, it's just, I can't. So, therefore, I won't be able to describe it. But if there's anything that was somehow a savior to my weekend is the total dominance that the BMW M4 GT3 achieved at the Nürburgring at the VLN series. It was absolutely a reminder to me of when I was, when BMW had the E46 GTR that dominated the series so badly that Porsche threatened to withdraw from the series. Congratulations to Augusta Farfers. Congratulations to BMW. I wore the colors of M, the M colors last, last video. I forgot to mention that. I also want to say that I was wrong by thinking or by believing that White was going to successfully use his body punches to knock Tyson Fury. I was wrong. Congratulations to Tyson Fury and Tyson Fury's fans. This weekend is one, if I could, I would completely de delete it off my memory banks. Unfortunately, I can. And the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Thank you always for watching. We'll see how I cope with it. And let's see what happens the next few, few days. And let's see what happens in Miami. This was truly a heavy, for fan, heavy weekend, sadly, for me, and I'm sure for many of you. God bless you. Thank you for, for subscribing. 
and thank you for your comments. Happy Monday.